half. And our weather not so fun this past week, and I'm sure you'd agree with me there, that wind was just terrible. Now, as we get you out the door this morning, a lot less wind to deal with. You'll need a light jacket here in the springs. That's about it this morning. 34 degrees the current temp locally, 25 in Monument. Upper 20s out east around La Junta, Trinidad at 28, Alamos so the cold spot at 14. Check out that school day forecast. The temperatures near freezing. You'll need a jacket or a light layer or two this morning. By the afternoon, you could shed those layers. You'll see increasing clouds, possibly a sprinkle or two here in the Pikes Peak region as we head towards mid to late afternoon. So two areas of low pressure, one to our northeast, one to our southwest. We're going to concentrate on that one over Nevada. That's the one that's going to pump in some moisture this afternoon. Unfortunately, leading to some cloud cover, especially in the southern half of the state, right around 1230, 1240. That's when we'll see that peak totality or peak viewing of the eclipse here in southern Colorado. I think we'll be dry through about noon or one. Anytime after that, we start to get some snow showers that develop in the mountains. It might even see a sprinkle or two cross I-25 through this evening, but you can see most of the moisture is expected to stay over and near the higher terrain into the overnight hours, eventually breaking up to so make our way into Tuesday morning. So through the next 12 to 24 hours, could see an inch or two of accumulation around West Cliff, maybe as much as one to four inches in Salida, possibly up to an inch in Woodland Park, mainly sticking on grassy surfaces in Teller County. Speaking of grass, uh, that's absent on the allergy report, as is weeds and mold, but tree pollen, if you're being bothered a bit lately, that is on the moderate side in terms of the concentrated value. Taking a look at highs today, 62 in Pueblo, 63 in La Junta, uh, 52 today in Rye, 48 in Westcliff, and 59 in Canyon City. Check out that super seven-day forecast. High of 59 on Tuesday, up to 60 on Wednesday. Now, we will see some energy on Wednesday with some gustier winds up around 20 to 30 miles per hour, and then more wind expected as we head towards the end of the week and the start of the weekend. And that's going to lead to another increase in temps as we rise back to the 70s. 70s by Friday afternoon for Pueblo. We're going to skip the 70s as we stay in the 60s through Thursday, and then we jump to the 80s on Friday and Saturday, dropping down to 77 by Sunday afternoon. For Canyon City, a spot shower or two possible today. Otherwise, it's going to be a dry stretch of weather with more wind and warmth coming our way as we approach the upcoming weekend. In Woodland Park, just some light accumulations this afternoon and into this evening with clearing skies on Tuesday will be breezy and mild on Wednesday with warmer temperatures beginning on Friday.